Hey guys, what's up? Uh, good morning to you all. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Now winter is here. I'm starting to get cold. I'm using two jacket bows. Two jackets. Anyway, um, despite all being cold, got a fun project to do um, remember guys I fixed a laptop recently I haven't posted the video yet I think I'll post it soon anyway <coughs> uh, the same customer bring me another laptop it's a nice laptop very nice Novo ThinkPad um, E590. It's a very nice laptop. Very nice. Um, I think the customers had it not so long. You can see on top there is not even a single scratch. Okay, the problem with this laptop, she said it's it has a water damage, water damage, yeah. And after that the computer won't boot, and then they took this laptop to a computer shop. which was in Pretoria and those guys said that this computer cannot be fixed because there is something they need to replace regarding the water damage and that component is nowhere to be found um, well first I thought okay that's a done we can't do anything about it um but you know what what if the computer shop was just trying to avoid the repair possible but some of the shop won't do work repair work if they see it's too much so on today's video we're gonna have a look if we can figure it out if this computer laptop can be fixed if we fix it that will be great if we don't um, I will only say sorry to the customer because this is really nice computer, nice laptop, and it's in a real nice condition. Okay, uh, I'm going to open this laptop and then get back to you guys. Okay, the laptop is open. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we're gonna check together, you and me, those coils, okay? Sixty-nine, which is right. Twenty-five, which is also right.
this is four right next one also four seven also right nothing is okay nothing is okay 151 is also okay all right let's check this one nothing now all those coils on on our power lines none of them are zero ohms or 0 0.01 ohms means there is no short um while i was busy taking this board out right i did um I did took the battery, excuse me, also out. Now, <clears throat> first I thought the battery is locked and uh, I was kind of worried because if the battery is locked because of being completely discharged, I don't have a tool to unlock the battery. right then because on the black and bl uh, red here on the port there was no voltage nothing zero then i say look um this laptop is dead anyway and uh, giving it back to the customer without fixing it rather let me try something um unconventional i open the battery i open the the battery uh, circuit has a it has a fuse and that fuse is good you guys can see this is a fuse this fuse is good i did check so then i realized why the voltage was not coming here nothing was there then i check the cells each of them this is a three cell battery one two three and they are the connectors that is going to the board i check each individual cell they were about 1.3 volt so it's it's it should has 3.7 volt when it has 3.7 volt each cell combined it make about 11.1 volt which is this battery is supposed to give output and then what i did i charged the battery a little bit <coughs> like this from my power supply i put 14.8 volt um, this battery should charge on for 12.6 volt um oh, sorry let me put it down 12. say 13 volt and then i put current or the power straight to the cells it's charging i don't have enough camera for you guys to show you guys on the power supply it's the battery is battery is being charged charging at 2.25 amp the voltage is 1918 it's going up the voltage is going up <coughs> okay so let's charge the battery for a while I'm going to pause the video for now. When the battery is little charged, then I will start the video again. Okay? Okay. Um, I did charge about 6-7 minutes, I think, uh, the battery. Now, let's have a look what does it do.
let's reconnect the battery I must tell you guys uh, whoever worked on this board I don't know if you guys can see on the battery connector they try to get a connection up let's show you guys under the microscope uh, microscope Okay, microscope. Look here in the connector, guys. Can you guys see? The shop that tried to fix this uh, laptop. <clears throat> I don't know what they tried to do, but they cut the wire there, cut the wire on the red side also, as you can see. So probably they tried to put power onto the motherboard from there or charge the battery. I have no idea. Anyway, um. Let's put the microscope on, off, put the overhead cam. Now, I did what I did like that. I learned it from Mr. Sorin's videos. Um, we're going to plug the battery in and see if there comes anything. Right. Okay. Look at the multimeter piece. Eleven point thirteen volt present. Um, our main power line, which is all these big caps you you see, these are on the main power line. If I'm not wrong, this one, this one, um, yeah, let's check what voltage is there. This is ground. Look at the multimeter, 11.13 volt. Now, we have the main power rail has voltage, you see, 11.13 volt. only this section I don't see any voltage nothing oh 11.13 on the LCD connector there is also 11.3 volt present nothing I think this circuit goes to the Wi-Fi card let's have a look on the on the <coughs> RAM module if there is voltage I think there is 11.3 volt present let's have a look on this side if there is here is nothing here is nothing it's probably the input side we can be the output side There is one point, now it's going down. Eleven point twelve volts. So the I can't say nineteen point I think when we plug the charger in, probably this whole section will have 
19 or 20 volts okay but while it's plugged onto battery it's only gonna have 11.3 volt or 11.1 volt because the battery's rating is 11.1 volt so to me i feel if i press the power button on probably this laptop will come on let's let's try okay this is the power button there's lights <laughs> and we have no fan spin there is fan spin if you guys can see fan is spinning have a look it's still now if i pull it off it's off let's put it on and look at the fan fan spin so the laptop is coming on <clears throat> i just want to it's my curiosity i feel that we will see pictures okay let me bring the the screen and see if we can get pictures on the screen i wanted to test it with you guys that's why i took a ram out of my laptop uh, which also use this uh, DDR4 RAM all my other spare RAM they are not DDR4 so I couldn't check with them okay let's put it like this metal pieces out from there unfortunately my desk is This is our power button. Let's switch it on. I have fan spin there. Light goes off. Remember, I don't have the BIOS battery. Okay. So, this laptop will reset its bat, uh, BIOS. And that will take time. Light is still on, but nothing on the screen. Okay. Hello. And the laptop. <laughs> you two. Nothing yet. Look at that. We have picture. We have picture. And then it shuts itself down. I believe the battery is still too low and no external power is there. If I try again, I'm sure it will come on. One more time. We have picture, Mr. Sorin. Battery is critically low. That's what is the message comes out. Okay. okay. Now. Let me put this back. This. There you go. Okay, don't take it out for now. I want to see what happens when I plug in the chargers. If anything happens, if any light or anything comes. Uh, if the laptop charges, there should be lights coming on. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's 
still have little bit of juice left on the battery it comes on but other than that with the USB this laptop is showing no life or no sign of life okay guys <clears throat> it's about three weeks later um, the first half of the video I explained to you guys about this Lenovo E590 laptop doesn't have power I did place the order for the USB port is this one from Aliexpress Aliexpress and the RTS chip also five of them I took so I've got the delivery yesterday actually it wasn't a delivery they do not deliver door-to-door -door. they deliver the nearest port post office from your delivery address so uh, I had to go and collect it from the post office anyway um, as I mentioned to you guys on the video this port under the microscope hold on so on the first idea i thought the um, the pd controller was dead okay this is the chip i thought that this is dead but now I'm not sure as I saw the damage on the USB port I don't know if I I did record it the damage I did show you guys on the other half of the video the spin doesn't look nice it appears to me under the microscope that this pin is somehow damaged inside as you can see so what we uh, i will do i will replace this usb first as i have now the new usb port and from there we will see if our laptop pulls any current if not then we will think about replacing the RTS chip okay for this work we're gonna use I'm gonna use the hot air station hopefully I can take it out easily
some flux still there as you guys can see all the pins on this side they are soldered properly I overhead cam let's check our power main power line main main power line okay have a look at the multimeter if we get any short this is ground I think look at it uh, this we must check it on the input side okay because the output side are this coils I think to the CPU those are gonna show us short but if you look at the input side of the on the no short this is good no short no short oval also oval so i don't see any short on our main power rail okay um we can try to flip the ease i don't think we need to check there anyway we will first see um using the charger i just hope that this charger it's still working is the original charger come on my iv my phone is too hot okay let's plug the charger in it's still working can you guys see let me zoom in it's still working have a look in the there you go it's pulling 2.6 volt and charging is it charging thirty nine Let's have a look. It's giving me a signal, some sort of. <clears throat> we have a picture. That's sick, Mr. Sorin. Thank you, Mr. Sorin. We have a picture. <laughs> can't believe. Can't believe. Can't believe. Mm. I see this charger has also a problem it only charges once one way the other way it doesn't charge or it doesn't connect I more there isn't anything I can do more on this battery of this laptop but the laptop is fixed um, it's just the battery is not charging it needs a battery beside that laptop is functional Customer can take this laptop and use it with the charger as uh, like some old laptop that the battery is done and you cannot <coughs> use those laptop without um, what you got the charger same like that anyway uh, I will end this video for sure now I am not going to try to do anything on this laptop anymore it's done um, unless the customer choose to buy a laptop I mean to buy a battery because uh, remember I cannot replace the battery just removing this back cover this whole keyboard and everything must come out for me to get this back cover the bottom cover out 
so i will leave it like this for now until the customer tell me what to do um as usual like and subscribe um if you guys like this video obviously please share to your friends and family the video and my channel's info it will help my channel to grow and i'll see you guys on the next video goodbye